Dinosaurs. We start with everything unlocked and farm 98, 10 bones as fast as we can. Uh, that's the number of bones you get if you fill a 10 by 10 area with the dinosaur tail. Okay, so we already have a dinosaur script. So our current code just turns into the like dinosaur with the tail and it moves along a predefined path across this grid where it just never intersects itself. And then eventually this will run and fill up the entire grid. Yeah, you can see like the way it's moving right now, it's never gonna intersect its original position until the tail is like the entire length of the game board. So we can make a leaderboard run with this code and just see where we get. Um, the way to do a leaderboard run, we need to like actually exit when we finish, right? Return false just means game's not over. True means game is over. I mean, what if we just make it a little bit easier and just put the... Uh-oh, what, what are you talking I don't know what happened there. <laughs> no, no, we're losing code. All right. Oh, if game complete is true, then we don't want to do this. Then we don't the or statement is short-circuited short -circuited to be true. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. It already got broken, huh? Now it's here. Game complete. Or move to Y. It's true. How did it become true? Let's see the move. Oh, wait, the move east. Oh, the move east is true. Oh, oh right. Or not move east. <laughs> not move east. <laughs> Shoot. Perfect. <laughs> right here, too. Yeah, we fixed it. Amazing. Oh, look at us. We're brilliant. Okay, so this is working now. This is really understandable, clear code. <laughs> yeah. 91! 91. Not, hey, not bad. Let's see. So the leaders are, you know... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so we are in the, in the conversation it's... here. What's our next improvement here? Cleaning up the code? <laughs> no. It, I would like to start Should we just go straight to that, like, yeah, yeah. Go like straight to, to figuring over. out a new algorithm that we can do for this? Yeah. So one optimization we're thinking of is instead of doing a predefined route all the way across the grid, we could um, initially we get the position of the first apple. So in this case, it's here. And we could do this where we go up, kind of hug the top row, and then come down and drop down for the apple. And then we can use the measure to find out where the next apple will be. And let's say it's at a column that's greater than the current column index, right? So current column index would be zero, one, two. Let's say the apple is here. Then we can come up, hug the top row, and then drop down again for it. And we measure again for the next apple. Let's say the apple's position is now at a column less than the current column index. Let's say it's here. In this case, what we're thinking is, okay, come back, hug the top column, go all the way around, and come up for the new apple. If we were to hug the top, go around, and then try to get this next apple at column one, row two, if we were to go up here, we have no way yeah, of reaching. Yeah, Because say the next apple spawns like down down there or something. Yeah. And then we just can't reach if it. If we go here, then our tail is boxing us in and we're stuck. So this first stage, when the tail is less than the length of the perimeter of the map, we'll do this strategy where we like bounce in and get the apple. But then once we are equal to the perimeter of the map, then we switch to our old strategy, which is just the predefined path, right? Yeah, let's let's try this. Let's get some code going. So uh, we change hat. We have to measure immediately. Right. OK, so next position equals measure. We have a state machine where we're either hugging the top row. Yeah. Or we're hugging the bottom row or we are on a vertical edge. Sure. On the left side or right side. Well, vertical edge is just one yeah. operation, right? It's not yeah, like true. a state. When we're a, finished with that state. It's a state transition. What's happening here? We start the code. It dives up to the top and we kind of split this into two stages. So the first stage is just going along the top row, diving down wherever the nap, there's an apple and then going back up. So what should happen here, should move right one, down, get the apple, 
right again, and then back up to the top. So you can see that our target X position here is one. So we're gonna go right to the one position. We're gonna dive down to the row of the apple, which is just the very first one here. Going right down to the row, moving east. We got that apple, fantastic. We can see another apple growing right here. We go back up. So this is stage one. I think stage it's done. I, I really want to see one where it gets two apples. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, we got two. Yeah, that's perfect. That That's working pretty well. So stage one is done. It, that was a much more efficient way to get two apples than going through every single position in the grid. Yeah, like the predefined route. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Oh my god! That's pretty good. Is that, that did two that's the extent of what the code is supposed to do right now, or? Yeah, like it just runs through one. So let's just add a while loop and just get this going. Oh, that's the only difference. Okay, get that, get those. Oh, we're not, what is happening? It's following its own heuristic. <laughs> this is actually more intelligent. It's going all the way to the top, that's the problem. This is actually more intelligent than we thought. Actually, no, I, I do remember <laughs> what happened here. It's moving to row top instead of zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. minus two. All right, should we run it now? Sure. It's, oh, it, it went all the way it down. It went all the way I down. But that, uh -oh. we don't want that. No. That's another edge case. We had talked about that one point, I think we just. It's another edge case or we just coded it wrong? We, well, yeah, we just coded it wrong. This is pretty good. It's gonna, how far it gets. It's gonna run into its tail at some point, yeah. I don't know what happened already. already. Oh, it was like in the, it got the apple, it was about to return. To oh, source. so it did run, it did run into its tail. Yeah, so we... It's had, a perimeter. Yeah, so now we need to move into the Just new phase where you. like, once our tail is the length of the perimeter, we no longer do this strategy, we just go back to that predefined route. So we're gonna do that now. Flatten out all the tails that have dove in, you know, we're not gonna run into the tail. And then we just run along our predefined route, which is defined here. Uh, and this is gonna work on the first try. <laughs> oh no! How did that happen? How could that possibly happen? How could that happen? See, we transitioned. Okay. I, I think we leaderboard. do a leaderboard run. Yeah. All right. So this is actually we just, random we just need to process. reverse this. We just need to reverse it. Trust me. It just needs to be reversed. I'm gonna run the leaderboard run. <laughs> Shoot, I thought that would do it. Ooh, 57. All right, not bad. All right, let's get this back to what we want it to be, which is three times three. three. Now. Yep. There could be some math behind this that makes it that guaranteed. Could actually, yeah. Nice, 37th. That was a big improvement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to 37th. Yeah, that's a big jump. Okay, so that we made one more small improvement. And what we did here, uh, so before, like, if you're starting this and there's an apple right here, oh, it's gotta be red if it's an apple. You're moving along up here, you come down and you get this apple and you go back up. Now, if the next apple spawned here, previously we were just gonna go all the way around and not deal with that until the next time around. Because, get it. because this apple is in some off limits column. Yeah. We've already collected an apple on that column. We just didn't want to risk running into the tail and we didn't want to bother with a ton of logic. But we do now instead is we actually track what Y position this apple was at so that when we come back around, we know that this apple here is in a Y position below where this one is. So it is safe to go up with this change. Let's see where this goes in the leaderboard because we're saving so much space. 14th, nice. The oh top, yeah. Top 15. I'm sorry, I closed that out so quickly. Once I have a clear mind, yeah, I'll be able to write how we can get this working. Because we can use this kind of optimization. It's working right there. All the way, I think. Yeah. Wait, if we want to move up though, we, we got to make a lot of headway. We got to improve by two seconds if we want to get top 10. Two seconds. That's a lot. Yeah.